it's it's very difficult to, to get to the bottom of um, Renaissance diplomatic relations, particularly when it comes to relations between England and Spain. It's fairly extraordinary that both Cecil and Leicester accepted pensions um, at different times uh, from the King of Spain. I mean, it would it would almost seem on the, on the surface that they, they were taking money from the enemy, that they were spies, that they were traitors. How could the Queen have sanctioned this? And equally, how could she not have known about it? Um, the circumstances of, of Leicester's pension are, are rather more straightforward. Um, at various times he put it about that he was going to um, either marry the Queen himself or encourage her to marry a pro-Catholic candidate. Um, I think he rather exploited the Spanish in this case. Um, Mendoza wasn't the, uh, the brightest uh, of, of the Spanish ambassadors um, and Leicester fairly successfully managed to con him into thinking that he was going to manage to convert Elizabeth back to Catholicism in exchange for um, a small pension. And I think I can imagine Elizabeth and Leicester having a, a good laugh about that. Um, Leicester, like many of Elizabeth's uh, courtiers, were, was perennially impecunious. Um, Elizabeth was extremely stingy. She really, really hated to spend money, and I think it would have given her a particular pleasure to imagine that Leicester was getting money out of, out of her enemy, the Spanish. I don't think she would have objected at all. Cecil's case is much more complex. Um, I think there probably is an enormous amount of archival research to be done in Spain about the, um, the relationships between the, the English spy network and, and the Spanish spy network. To say that there were double, triple agents doesn't even begin to cover it. Um, I think at certain points even Cecil didn't know who was working for him and who wasn't. Um, it's, it's such an extraordinary, shadowy world, this world of spyery. Um, that English historians at least have only just begun to, to penetrate. So the idea that Cecil should be accepting money from the King of Spain is not as extraordinary as it might first be seen. For a start, Philip had a very low opinion of a woman's capacity to govern, and I think he'll be prepared to give money even to someone who he hated um, for confessional reasons, as much as he loathed Cecil, in order, in his own mind, to have some impression of influence o over the Queen. Um, Cecil, I think, um, had his own motivations for accepting money from Philip, not least of which because as a, as a means of physically receiving the pension, he would have to see people who worked for Philip, who he could subsequently recruit, and indeed did recruit, as his own spies. Um, so what at first appears um, like the most extraordinary paradox, Elizabeth's most royal servants taking money from, from the Spanish enemy, um, becomes part of this, this very complex and shadowy world which was Renaissance diplomacy.